So in this presentation, we're going to teach you on how to make a WPF application. So like Windows Form applications, WPF applications can be designed by dragging controls from a toolbox to a design surface. That's how we add the buttons. And in addition, in having a designer, properties, and toolbox, the IDE in WPF project has a window that contains XAML, which stands for Extensible Application Markup Language, which is used to create a user interface. So in this presentation, we're going to teach you on how to make a canvas in a WPF application. First, we open Microsoft Visual Studio. Click File, New, Project. Click on WPF Application and let's name it as Ink Canvas 1 and click OK. The WPF window you see in the designer view is the visual representation of the window when the application has started. So we're going to change the size of the window by using the properties window. If you don't see the properties window, click on view, properties window. So in order to change the properties, you have to click on the window. We're going to change the height and the width of the window. Let's set the width to 370 and the height to 550. You can also change the background color of the window by clicking on background. There are various colors you can see. Let's just choose uh, lavender. As you can see, the color changed and the height and the width changed. So now let's add some controls in the window using the toolbox. If you don't see the toolbox, click on View, Toolbox. Now we want to specifically add Ink Canvas. It should be somewhere here, but, but if you don't see it, right click on any item and click on Choose Items. Now go to WPF Components and let's search for Ink Canvas and click OK. Now let's drag the Ink Canvas to the window. Then we'll change the canvas size by using the Properties window. The width should be auto, height should also be auto. Horizontal alignment should be stretched and vertical alignment should be also stretched. Let's change the margins to 9, 9, 9, and 68. As you can see, there are four numbers. The first number is for the left margin, second is for the top margin, third is for the right margin, and the fourth is for the bottom margin. As you notice, your canvas has been placed in the window. Now I'm going to add two buttons from the toolbox into the WPF window. Now I'm going to select button 1 and make some changes in the SAML markup. The text of the button is located in the opening tag and the closing tag of the markup. So let's change button 1 to clear. Let's change button 2 to close. Now let's double click on clear to create the event handler code that clears the drawing. Type in this the name of the canvas, which is ink canvas1 strokes 
clear. Now I'm going to double click on close to add the event handler which closes the application. Type in this dot close parenthesis. Now let's go back to the designer view and click F5 to view the application. So as you can see this is your window. Let's draw something on it. so on. You can click clear to reset the canvas and draw again. Mm. Mm. Click clear as many times as you want and you can click close to close the application. For more information visit this website. Thank you for watching. We hope you learned something in this presentation. We hope to serve you again next time.